Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. That flowed wrong, but unbiased election projections, in case you don't know the name of my channel, which you probably do. And I'm starting to go off into a tangent, so I'm going to stop myself right there. But this is an analysis of the 2020 JHK forecast. Uh, it, it's a very good model. I, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, like, Just look up JHK forecasts. And um, and I guarantee that you will uh, that you w that, that it'll come up first thing. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't, just check the description of this video, and I'll be sure to put it uh, there. So yeah. Now without further ado, I've filled out the map. This is the um, I don't know why I did that. This is the map according to JHK forecast, and I have some disagreements with the map. So I do think that Wisconsin will be closer than that. I think Pennsylvania will be. You know, I'm not going to talk about Pennsylvania. I think Nevada will be closer than that. Uh, for the, I think they're, un, I, okay, I'll just say this. I, I think they're overestimating Democrats in Nevada, in Montana, in um, in Wisconsin, in uh, Florida, in Georgia, in Texas, in Alaska, and in New Hampshire. And I couldn't fill in the districts because they don't have a function for that. I think I'm probably just being stupid. Um, but, yeah. So, uh this chart, uh, as they put it, shows the zigs and zags of the race for the White House, and so it's cool. They have like the, I, I literally pointed at my computer because I, because I forgot that you guys can't see me, but um, you know that they, they have this uh, little uh, thingy, thingy. It's, it's like a graph that shows you a how well the candidates are doing. So as you can see, Joe Biden is doing uh really um really well compared to where he was, say, in March. And the race to the White House is, you know, November 3rd, that's election day. It's, it's getting closer. It's going to be here before we know it, um, unfortunately. And I know, I can't wait till November 3rd. Uh, just imagine how crushing it's going to be when your candidate loses. So, yeah. Uh, so just bask in, th this is advice, bask in your ignorance that your candidate still has a chance because, yeah. All right, so... um. Let's look at some of the tipping points. Uh, oh, okay. They actually do show the second congressional district. That's interesting that they... What is that? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, that's my bad. I think it's a glitch because that's like really... That's really weird that they gave Biden... Yeah, this is a swing state, by the way. Swing, swing district, rather. So, so we figured it out halfway through the video. Uh, it's, it's, it's a tilt... Democrat state, and I do want to see a Nebraska second district so I can figure out or just to better give you guys an understanding. Oh, it's actually right there. So they give Nebraska second district a uh, lean for Joe Biden. So there we go. That's 335 electoral votes. I should get rid of this for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. 203 for President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. So, um, well. So let's look at the swing states, and I want to use this chart because this is where 270 is. So, you know, Biden can win Pennsylvania, he can win Minnesota, he can win Michigan, he can win Nevada, he can win New Hampshire, he can win Virginia, win Colorado, win Maine, win New Mexico, uh, you know, all those states, which aren't really swing states. I, I mean, Pennsylvania is a swing state for sure, but uh, Michigan, Minnesota, maybe, I guess. Uh, and, and, and win all those states and still lose the presidency because – the presidency, essentially, according to this forecast, goes through Wisconsin, which Joe Biden is favored to win, by the way. Um, he has an 81.7% chance of winning, according to this forecast. And, um, yeah, so that dis that just illustrates how bad this is for Donald Trump. I mean, like, you can try to find a path to victory for him, you know, without giving him Florida. You can give him Arizona. You can give him uh, Wisconsin. You can give him Pennsylvania. You can give him North Carolina. Still doesn't win. Uh, because at that point, you're going into, you know, Given Nevada still doesn't win, given New Hampshire, tie. So, for sure, this is not looking good for Donald Trump. Uh, and, you know, th this forecast really illustrates that. And, and I know I'm uh, throwing the word illustrate around a lot. I don't know why I'm doing that. But we have to remember that this forecast was very accurate in the 2018 midterm elections. Uh, and that uh, it got all the Senate races right. It got Arizona right. It got Nevada right. It got Montana right. Uh, except for Indiana, where Joe Donnelly ended up losing. That was a surprise for a lot of people. In Florida, which was uh, probably the biggest uh, Democratic loss of the night, uh, Bill Nelson lost to Rick Scott. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, just so you guys know, 
I am not a huge fan of um of this forecast. I think it does overestimate Democrats, and I phrased that poorly. I think Joe. I think that this forecast. I'm throwing a bunch of stuff around. My I really do apologize. I don't know. Um, I'm speaking very poorly today, but I do think that this forecast is accurate. I think it will be accurate. In fact, uh, disregarding margins, I agree with all but two electoral votes on this map. I just think that they're overestimating Joe Biden and not taking in voter suppression, uh, to which is definitely going to hurt Joe Biden in Georgia, uh, which I think will be a lot less close than that. So, yeah. But now we're going to analyze the forecast. Not my forecast. I show my forecast in all my prediction videos. We're going to talk about the JHK forecast uh, in this video. So, yeah, uh, you know, D Donald Trump is projected to lose Florida. You know, it's it's going down a little bit, but that's just because uh, it can't get any worse for Trump, really. I mean, I mean, you could say that Joe Biden only has an 83% chance of winning it. And at one point, his high point was, if I could find it right here, we had an 83.5%, or was it here? 84.7% chance on August 14th. That was his ultimate high point. Uh, and, you know, even then, he didn't crack 85 or uh, much less than 90. So, Montana, they actually have as somewhat contested. The projected vote is supposed to be likely. They're giving Joe Biden 42.4% of the vote. And I do and I do think that Joe Biden in Montana will be propped up by people like Mike Cooney and Steve Bullock. But that being said, I don't think that he'll be able to come close to winning it. That's why I characterize it as safe. Uh, you know, Montana could be likely. I'm not saying it's not. And it, these these predictions are very rational. And, and we have to remember that these are just percentages saying that in Minnesota, for example, if you – I want to find a better – um, that if you run it in in Utah, for example, if if, if you if you have a hundred elections in Utah, Donald Trump's going to win ninety nine percent of them. Uh, so yeah. Also, I I think this is just like a math overlapping kind of thing, but they that adds up to one hundred point one percent. Just ignore that. So yeah, South Carolina. Uh, you know, this is interesting because um, the tipping point is kind of you know um, what is it? It's uh, you know, high 40s, 47, 48% uh, for both candidates. So I don't think Joe Biden's going to be able to win, but I think it's interesting that they have him getting nearly 45% of the vote. That would be historic, by the way. Uh, well, not historic because it's happened. Democrats have won South Carolina before. In fact, they did it every year in the, in, in the 1800s. But in this case, South Carolina is a red state, and it will remain that way for at least the next 10 years. Um in Michigan, actually, I think this is interesting that um, they are starting to give it as a nearly a safe margin. You know, you're having Biden plus eight point three uh, for someone who has. I believe that my safe my safe margins are twelve plus margin of victory for someone, for example, like Red Eagle Politics. His are ten plus. I mean, you're starting to get into safe territory for a state that Donald Trump won in twenty sixteen. So you know, his highest point, I think, was right here. Or he was ahead by. Does it show you the plus? No, it doesn't. But um, I like that they give you the polling. I like this analysis, and I do think that um, this is totally rational. Again, I've said that, but yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my analysis of the JHK forecast. Uh, be sure to like the video. Uh, if you'd like to donate to my Patreon, there are multiple perks you can get uh, from it. Just check that out. Um, that would help me out a great deal. Also, like the I've, I I just said that like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out uh, JHK forecast; it's a really good forecast. Uh, again, I have some disagreements with it, but I do think it could be 100% accurate come election day. To be honest, so guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.